In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold a money pram or a baby buggy designed by Dominik Meissner. Diagrams are available on Dominik Meissner's website www.orime.de. So, orime.de. You can fold the pram from most builds. Um, they just have to have an aspect ratio of about uh, 1 by 2, so about 2 squares. But uh, this one is, for example, folded uh, from a US dollar bill, which is slightly larger than um, a 1 by 2, so it would be a, a bit longer. And uh, this works. But I also folded it uh, from um, a British pounds and from um, a euro bill. And these two are slightly shorter than 1 by 2. So all three work. On this one you'll see that I actually also used builds to fold the wheels and Dominic Meissner also uh, diagrammed these wheels, they need uh, two builds. But personally I actually prefer using some coins, uh, here I used a euro cent, here I used um, a US cent and um, for this one I just wanted to give it a try. So I'll be showing just the top part and if you want to fold the wheels just uh, check out the diagrams that Dominic made. Now in this video I'm actually going to be using normal paper because um, it's easier for to, you to see what I'm doing when I'm using larger paper and I don't have a distracting pattern. Just for reference um, I'm going to be folding a purple pram so the outside will be purple and um, with the euro you have this um, hologram here and if you want that to be the handle just like I folded it here then you should check that it's on the left and in the bottom just like that and of course you can just look at the patterns of um, the bills and then decide when, what you want to have um, on the outside so this is the section that is probably the most visible because it is kind of this sun uh, this sunscreen part. Okay, so let's get started. One further remark maybe. Now I'm using paper and I really recommend that you use paper rather than a bill too because um, bills they're not really paper and they're quite thickish and they're more like, um, like, like fabric actually, like stiffened fabric. And uh, the paper is very distracting and the paper, well, the bill needs to be creased very strongly. So those two aspects make it um, more difficult to, um, to complete the model than with paper. So it's good if you already know what to fold um, and just by practicing on normal paper first. Now, when you um, fold a model like this, you probably want to give it away. So you really want to make it look nice. So doing a first fold with something different is a good idea. And also, uh, just to make everything super crisp and clean, it's probably good to, to use a tool. Now, I have a bone folder and I like to kind of make um, crease marks with that when I'm working with thick or difficult paper. And I advise you do something similar too. If you don't have a bone folder, that's completely okay. You could, for example, use a pen uh, with no more ink in it. So you have to have the ink cartridge in it, but um, no more ink is in it. And then you can kind of use it to, uh, to score the paper in some ways um, so that it's easier uh, to then crease exactly in that spot. And also you'll probably want to be folding back and forth every crease so that it gets extra strong. Um, but enough remarks for that. This is just like um, some tips because uh, it will make things easier. But you can also try to just go along without using tools and stuff like that. So you need to have something that's about one by two in, um, in size. And because of the about and not exactly, we have to be very careful with where we put our first creases. So we need to have a full square on this side. So I'm going to take uh, the lower right tip and fold it up and then make a small pinch mark down here and another one on the other side. So I'm just turning the paper to make the second one. And I'm using two pinch marks because especially with bills it's much harder to see. So then we're going to rotate this so that we have the square in the bottom. We're going to take the edge and fold it to the crease lines, creating half a square. 
Then I'm going to rotate again and fold in half just the top layer. Then flip over and take the edge and also creases, crease it to those two pinch marks that we made. So now we've got quarters. Then we're going to take this top layer and again fold it in half. And then we want to fold in half the next section. For that we're going to make a mountain fold out of that crease. You can see here. And this is going to be a good idea in any case with the bill because, as I mentioned, the creases need strengthening and folding in both directions makes creases much stronger. And then the last part. So we're just going to fold that so that we can fold edge to edge, which is slightly easier than folding an edge to a crease. And then one more time, we take the top layer. You really do just want to fold one layer at a time. It makes things more precise, but especially with bills, you will not want to fold more than one layer at a time. Then open up, revert the existing crease. This will be harder with a bill, I'm telling you. It's, it looks quite easy here, it is quite easy here, but with a normal um, bill it won't be that easy. And then again fold in half. And the next one. And another one, again, reverting the crease so that it's easier to fold in half. One more time. And one last time. We're basically creating sixteenths here of that initial square. So now we've got those sections and now we're just going to unfold these. We're going to take the last one and again bring it to the pinch marks we did in the beginning. And then reverse that one and again fold edge to edge here. So now we should have um, 14 sections and uh, this is kind of the square and then we've got 16 here and here is 1 8. Next we're going to take this paper and fold it in half lengthwise and we're just going to pinch once on this side and once on the other side. Then open up and we're going to again pinch, taking this edge, bringing it to the pinch mark, marking a quarter on both sides. And then an eighth. Oh, let's flip it over because mountain folds are slightly easier to see. And then finally we're going to fold in this whole section to that mark which is at 1 8 right now. And it's good to have uh, them on both sides because it's quite hard to fold a long thin strip. Indeed you might actually think about also creasing in the center, but with the bills it's a slightly shorter distance so you should be okay. So I'm just going to take um, the edge, fold it into the crease line. I'm going to use these uh, vertical creases to get quite a quite straight start, creasing up to there and then creasing 
the rest of the way. There we go. Same thing on the other side. Again, starting on the side with all the vertical creases, because it's easier to get a straight start there. And then continue to the rest of that bill. Then we're going to flip over the paper, going to take that edge and fold it to the center. We have pinch marks on each side. And crease it all the way through. It'll be easier to fold precisely here because the strip you're folding in is much wider and that makes things a lot easier. And unfold. Then we're going to fold in here so that you have two of these thin sections before you use the crease and 12 on the other side. Just folding that in and now you're going to add a mountain fold right along this edge. And we need to use this reference because the bills have different sizes, not just the different currencies, but for example, the, um, the euro bills have slightly different aspect ratios depending on their value. So then we can unfold that and we have this reference fold. Next, we want to add um, diagonal creases that start in this point and go down in a 45 degree angle. For that, I'm going to turn over the paper and then I'm going to align this crease with that crease and go exactly through that point. So I'm catching that point, I'm aligning the creases and making a crease just from there to the outside. And again, with a bill, it will be more difficult um, because you might, may want to um, feel the creases, not just see them. But I'm sure um, you'll manage fine. And if it's not 100% precise, you can correct it later on. Then we're again going to flip over the paper. And this is where I recommend you use a tool. It's not that necessary with this paper, but I want to show it to you um, because in reality you will be folding um, some uh, some bills later on. Or actually, uh, the first one is going to be different than the last one. So you have these long horizontal creases, You're going to start to crease in this point and go up to that point, which is kind of that first thin strip. And I'm just going to use a ruler. Everyone, I think, has a ruler at home. Something straight, at least. And make a small score line. And same thing on the other side. And then once you've scored those two sections, you can fold them back in mountain folds and make strong creases and then unfold again. Now after that, so this one was kind of slanted this way, after that we're going to create a, a bunch of score lines that are slanted this way, not that way. And for that we're going to um, kind of take the third section and in that third section you're going to want to have it slanted so that it starts in this point right here and goes down to that point. So you go in one, two, three creases, that's the first point, and then you go down. So let's do that. And then you skip one section and you go over to the next one. And you skip one section and you go over to the next one. Skip one section. Go over to the next one. Skip one section. Go over to the next one. Skip one section and go over to the next one. In the end you will have one more section that's not creased. And repeat on the other side. Start on the third section, get that point, and score. Always skipping one section and then adding the next crease.
Once you have those in place, you want to strengthen them. So I'm just going to flip over the paper and I'm just going to pinch these. Now with the normal paper, this might not be necessary, but again, <laughs> with a bill, yes, you will want to do it. And I, I can just repeat this um, as often as possible because once you start folding the, with the bill, I don't want you uh, to, uh, to curse me for not saying uh, that it is a, a bit harder. But uh, I think it makes such a beautiful present for, um, for uh, the birth of a baby, which is also how I came to discover this model, because friends are having a baby and I wanted to give them a nice baby a money present, because money really is something that uh, you, you do need when you get a baby and it's easier to get that, um, else you might get like tons um, of things you don't need in the end. So now all of these are creased and then you can start collapsing these. So you'll always have uh, this valley fold here and then a mountain fold next to it. You probably creased both ways, at least if you um, took my advice for the builds of folding both ways. So you can just push that to that side and then you push the next one and so on. But uh, this is um, not so stable. So what I actually prefer to do is that once you've done that maybe once one way through so that all the creases have the right direction, I actually open up the crease right here all the way and then make the mountain fall, fold all the way to the tip. And then you fold it in and then you close that bottom part up again. Can you see that here? And then it looks like this. This crease here will still align with that edge and then you have nice precision. So again, you open up, you fold in and you collapse down. You open up, you fold in and you collapse down. Again, open up, fold in and collapse down. And this part I, um, I experienced is uh, quite doable with the bill once you've got all the, the pre-creasing done, else it might be quite difficult. And then here in the front you can also fold in that section that we pre-creased. And then you have one side of uh, that, um, that sun protection done. And then you go on to the other side. Again, opening up, taking the whole mountain fold, folding it in, and then collapsing closed that section. And again, opening up, folding in, and collapsing down. You do need to collapse them down, else the, uh, the layers won't be distributed correctly just in case you're wondering why I'm always closing it and not leaving it open. And that's just a nice locking mechanism, which is also quite easy to do. And one more time. Close it up and fold that section behind. And now the the, the part here is all done already and we just need to finish the shaping of this part where the handle is. For that we're going to have these mountain folds, these diagonals that we already pre-creased and we're going to fold that together, these two layers, and then fold them behind, going along existing creases. Same thing on the other side, just squishing these together and then folding them behind, like that. Then we're going to lock this slightly by making a mountain fold um, that halves this section. So I'm going to open this up and fold in and make a strong crease. Same thing on the other side. Open up and fold in. Then you can close this up again 
on both sides. And then I actually like to make an extra crease that goes along here, just so that it's quite stable. Just folding that down. And then you want to round the handle. You can take something um, quite curved or, uh, for example, if you used a pen <laughs> for scoring, you can use that. You can use the bone folder. You can kind of just try to roll it quite tightly. And then let it go again. And then you have that handle. And then your money baby pram is all done. And then what I did is I just used some, uh, some double-sided tape and I attached some coins. And with uh, the, the money, <laughs> um, the bills, they're quite sturdy, so they don't get damaged from it either. But probably you want to use a bill with a very low face value so that um, people kind of perhaps can t uh, keep it as a keepsake and you can um, fold another bill uh, quite um, small and then put it inside kind of as the baby. So here you can see maybe I added some uh, sticky tape kind of a bit above uh, the center line and then I just attached it. And this one was standing around for, oh, I don't know, two months now. So it was uh, slightly harder to take it off, but it still was okay. And as you can see, there is no damage to the bill because really you don't want to be damaging money, right? <laughs> And um, then your money uh, baby buggy or money pram, wherever you're from, whatever you call it, is all done. A fantastic design by Dominic Meissner, which um, I used to, um, to uh, make a money present for some friends and perhaps you want to do the same. So, um, as I mentioned before, you can also use three bills and then fold the wheels. The wheels are diagrammed. And um, finally, if you enjoyed this fold and you'd like to do other money folds by Dominic Meissner, uh, there are um, some models in this book, Geld, Geschenke, Clever, Gefaltet. It's in German, but um, as, as usual, you know, the diagrams don't have a lot of text so you can follow along. Also, the models in here are much, much easier to fold uh, than this um, pram. So um, I think you'll, you'll easily manage even without, um, without a video. And they are fantastic. For example, this cake, isn't it absolutely cute? Or what else can I show you? Um, there's kind of something for a wedding and um, there's a star. The star is actually really quite beautiful, but there are other things um, like a butterfly and just uh, lots of awesome designs which you might enjoy. So if you want to get that, it's available on Amazon too. And um, now I'll just uh, leave you and do give this um, lovely baby pram a go, either from normal paper or from a bill, be it British pounds, or um, US dollars, or euros, or whatever currency they have in your country. Happy folding and bye-bye!